Hi, I'm Bonnie Lauffer, and I'm in Washington, D.C. to talk to director Roland Emmerich about his new thriller, White House Down. Let's find out how he used Ion software to fill in the blanks on this high-octane film. Volker Engel and Mark Weigart, of course, were, have been long-time collaborators on your projects, uh, but this project had a very breakneck, uh, breakneck production schedule, yeah. uh, and you really had to get yeah. this done in a fast... So how did they approach the visual effects production requirements for this film? How did that help you? Well, what they did, you know, they like kind of divided it in small pieces. Normally, you, you don't divide it in that small pieces. Uh, that was the w w one thing. And then they, and then they kind of uh, came to me and said, please, let's hand over the visual effects as soon as we can, you know. And a certain, like, uh, effect, uh, uh, you know, like kind of scenes, we handed over, like, kind of uh, before we even started shooting. So that was one trick to actually get it. And then what you can do, uh, they know um, very well that you have to build assets. And they figured out in between the companies how to you know, use the same assets. You know? So we don't have to build the White House three times. We'll build it only once and then exchange uh, files. So you've been using this software for many years, you know, 2012, of course Anonymous was absolutely stunning, everything yeah. that we saw in that film. How, in your uh, opinion, has it developed and how, why does it help you so well in your films? I think it's like, uh, I think it's one of the reasons, you know, why I mo more and more enjoy making movies because in old days, you know, it was like a cumbersome, you know, like thing to make visual effects. Now, it's a very um, interactive process. You constantly see shots, how they develop, and you see different versions. You can add, you can actually really add to the quality by just n noting certain things. Uh, you can ask your cameraman, you know, to come in and say, can we light this better? And then they relight it with the camera. I mean, in old days you couldn't do that, and uh, and you got what you got, you know. And uh, now it's a it's a it's a it's a really interactive process. So, do you think that if you would recommend to other directors, other filmmakers, this would be a smarter way to make films? Like, why isn't everybody doing this? Well, you know, I, I mean, it's more and more done now. But uh, I, for example, in Anonymous, my last film, I used actually visual effects to make things cheaper, and that's like kind of probably mainly now what has to come in these big movies because big movies get like kind of more and more expensive but the returns are less and less in a way so um, I think we filmmakers have to find uh, new ways how to to make movies